And we're going to show you a projection that's not even in the 15th edition of Merrill's Atlas anymore. It's the Reese view uh, for the orbit of the eye, and it's designed to show the optic foramen. Uh, most of the time, if this comes into your department or your site, you're going to get really excited because they hardly ever order complete orbits, but most of the time it's the wrong order. So you got to read the comments and just make sure that what they actually need is a pre-MRI orbit screening. That's not what this is. This is to look at the optic foramen. So I'm going to use a 72 inch SID for this. We're only going to see one orbit at a time. So you would have to do bilateral. But I've got a small square field set up and we're going to be shooting this PA. So I've already put my marker on the board and that way you don't have to move your patient uh, once you have everything lined up. It's all set. Board is clean, marker is clean, make sure you do that before you put your patient's face up against it, please. Okay, so I'm gonna have you come over, have a seat, please. Since the optic foramen sits at an odd angle in the skull, we need to rotate the patient 37 degrees. So the mid-sagittal plane is at a 53 degree angle. Way too complicated. If you remember the three-point landing for this view, it lines itself up pretty well. And those three points are chin, nose, and cheek. Now a lot of techs, when they don't see this order very much, they mix, mix these things up in their head and they think it's chin, nose, forehead. It's chin, nose, and cheek, and the acanthio meatal line. So we're gonna do the right orbits. So we're gonna have our patient kind of get in as close as possible and turn so that your right cheek and chin and nose. You want to try and center the orbit right on the crosshair. So I'm going to pull you back a little bit. Maybe there. And we also need to line up the AML. So I just need you to raise your chin slightly. Okay. I'm going to pull you back so I can raise the bucky a little bit. You need to turn your head a little bit more so your nose is resting against the board. So all three points should be in position, AML lined up. And if you achieve the correct angle, if you hit your collimator light and you open side to side, you should see, pardon my fingers here, you should see your patient's eyelashes. If they blink on the board there, you can see her eyelashes. That tells me that she's at the correct angle. So I can collimate that back to where we had it. And just have your patient hold still, don't breathe, don't move, and expose.